What's up, y'all? This is your guy, Gary Gerard. Thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tag your auntie, tag your cousin, call your neighbors, call your pastor, your haters, everybody. Get them to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So listen, it's getting ready to be phenomenal. I'm excited. I can't, I'm just kind of like, I guess I can be overexcited. This is my channel, right? So, which is pretty cool. So, it's hair, it's business, and it's life with G. Just like that. Hair, business, life with G. So, you're going to get all of it wrapped up in one. So, all of my beauty professionals, I got you. All of you that are in business, entrepreneurs, I got you. And for y'all that just want to be nosy, I got you too. Right? Yeah, 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 you. The one, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah you. <laughs> So yes, and so listen, um, I get so many questions, like people keep asking me stuff like, well, what made you want to do hair? Like it's just a bad thing, like can a brother do hair? Can a brother just do hair? So they be like, well what got you into doing hair? What is it? What's going on? What made you want to do it? So this is the truth, okay? This is the truth. I never, somebody say never. I never wanted to do hair at all. I never wanted to do hair at all. Those of y'all do not know, I used to be a part of HOSA, which was a uh, health occupation, Students of America. Woo all of y'all that know something about little HOSA, right? This was in high school. This was in the year 2000. I was a freshman in high school. And so I already did not really like school, but because I guess my creative juices was trying, I was kind of curious, trying to figure out what I wanted to do, what I wanted to get my hands on. I really was into dance, uh, but I would, my focus was really wanting uh, to get involved in optometry. I know. Optometry in hair, how did that even happen? So Some, some of y'all are saying, what is optometry? It has everything to do with the eyes. Okay? Everything to do with the eyes. So I was fascinated with optometry and I really thought that I would probably move into that direction um, with optometry but mm -mm, it didn't work out right so my guidance counselor was like listen you're gonna have to step it up with this academic you're gonna have to step it up with these grades and you are missing some credits so what are you gonna do you either gonna do all the mechanics learn how to fix the motor shout out to the ones who know how to do it but your boy can't fix no motor. I ain't trying to do all that. I ain't trying to fix no axle. I ain't, I don't, I ain't trying to do it. So either, either it was auto mechanics or it was a cosmetology. Now, this is the part that I really want to talk about. So many people right now, males, let me talk to the males that really want to get involved in cosmetology. Don't be afraid. Don't worry about all the stigma that people put on male cosmetologists, okay? All the stigma, all the rumors, all these different negative things that people put on you for a man doing hair. So I had to decide either I'm going to either fail or I'm going to jump into something to get these grades up to keep me motivated. And guess what? It was cosmetology. It was cosmetology. And I started evolving in that. And there was a girl, shout out to Maya Pierce. Maya Pierce, girl, I just tagged you. I tagged you, girl. Maya, I tagged you. Shout out to Maya. Yes. Maya taught me how to do the Mary J. Blige flips. Five, 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 five. <laughs> the Mary J. Blige flip. Everybody know about the Mary J. Blige flip. When Mary J. Blige came out. Mary J. Blige hair was, I mean, it was flipped from the front to the back. It was flipped. And so she taught me how to do the flips. Then she taught me how to do the crimp irons. Use the crimp irons. So I was flipping and I was crimping, crimping everybody that came and sat in my chair. And by this time, everything started really making sense. Those people were set around me on purpose so that the part of me that I didn't know existed could be developed. And so that's that's a word for some of y'all. Sometimes Y'all be afraid to step out, but you got to step out. You have to trust the process and the people that are around you to help cause you to be e to evolve or to just step into the thing that you didn't even know that existed in you. I had an opportunity 
uh, Marie Macklin, um, had a, she took me to a hair show. And I had the opportunity to see other men on these major platforms with these alligator suits on, three-piece suits on, GQ. Fa Listen, they, they was looking like Harlem Knights on stage, cutting bobs, making French rolls, creating waterfalls. I was talking back then when I first seen that. And I mean, they had the crowd hype. And that motivated me because I seen another guy or other men doing what I wanted to do. And it was just phenomenal. It was absolutely phenomenal. And was it was it hell certain days? Of course. Was it, you know, exciting on certain days? Absolutely. Uh, but there were more good than it was bad. And I mean, and even just just the shade sometimes just even just the shade that was just wrong because i was doing what i was doing and but guess what you know what all that shade did you know what all that shade all that hater raid all of that whatever the insecurities my own insecurities from that you know what all that did all that pushed me to a place that it left me like wow well when i was in hair school i was one of the first people in hair school in this area that was in an international hair book in my time at school. Um, shout out to Detroit. And we all, those that are in the hair industry, we know Detroit was the hair capital. Listen, they were making people's heads look like Cadillacs. They can do nails. They can do, they, they can do people's hair blind, basically. Um, but yeah, they was definitely doing what they was doing the best. Um, just things have just been evolving after that. Having the opportunity to teach um, on major platforms at major shows, people that I looked up to, I was standing beside them working on stage. Um, um, I worked with a company, Illusions. Illusions put me on the map at Bronner Brothers. Shout out to Illusions. Um, Orlando Campbell. This company um, invested so much money. Um, I had my own flat irons. The steam liners. How many of y'all remember the steam liners? Y'all still got y'all steam liners. Whoever, whoever still got their steam liners and they watching this video, I'm giving you a free shampoo and style. If you still got those steam liners, I'm giving you a free shampoo and style. So we did that. I was the first person who did that. Um, and just doing some new things in this area. And there are some new other, um, you know, visions that I'm working on currently right now uh, while we're watching this. But yeah. That's, that's kind of how I started. Everybody, sometimes people just look at now and be like, um, oh, he got it going on. He all right. But listen, you sometimes you don't understand the process that a person have to go through sometimes to even just to get, to just to gain a little ground. So um, to God be all the glory for all that. But there was my cosmetology um, teacher, Donna Lunsford. Donna Lunsford. Um, was an amazing teacher. Um, she was an amazing teacher and she embraced not just me, but she embraced so many other cosmetologists and barbers at that time. And she is not with us anymore and she passed. And I just wanted to kind of just at least mention her name because it was one of I am where I am right now is because she saw something great in me. So a big shout out to Miss Donna Lonsford. Fly high, Miss Donna. Miss Lonsford, we love you. And um, I'm, I, I'm a product of some of your seed that you instilled in me. So I appreciate that. So, yeah, that's, 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 that's how I started. That's exactly how I started. So, but we got, we got a few more other stories. So we actually out and we finna go bust up my mom real quick. She's in her job so shout out to curves talk so we're going to finna go into curves talk and so she can give y'all some little funny stories that happened when i was coming up okay but we're going to talk about that and uh let's go let's go Not much. Yes, what's happening? Oh, nothing much. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all, what's up, y'all? This is my mom. This is my mom, Priscilla Gentry. Oh, and what's up? So I just got through telling them a story about me being in high school. They was like, 
And you know, I was telling them that I really didn't want to do hair, but I need the credit. <laughs> you know, just so I can graduate and things like that. So I just took the class. But I want to kind of come in here and talk about, well, you know, what did you think when you, when you first heard that I was getting ready to do hair? And what did you think about it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Y'all know I done got older, so I got to think back. You got to think <laughs> <laughs> I got to get my thoughts together. But it actually was uh, actually a torch that was tossed because my mom. My mom actually done it. I didn't know that. No. <laughs> actually, my mom, the late Ethel Harris, she did hair. Uh, late Ethel, Ethel Harris. I need some Ethel Harris grease. <laughs> well, Ethel Harris grease. They used um, Crisco. They pressed with Crisco. They didn't. She just did the regular wash, press, and curl with the Marcel irons. Crisco. So, yes. Uh, and it would get your hair just as slick as a shiny flower. Now, we can't use Crisco <laughs> now. That was, this was how long ago? <laughs> right. Like, uh, this was about 50, 50 years ago. Dang, that's crazy. Ago. That's crazy. So she actually did uh, the ladies in the neighborhood. She did Dang. the hair. Um, she actually did Pastor Wife's hair. Uh, what? She would press and she would use the Marcel irons where you actually had to put it on the heat. Yeah, I promise I know that. Yes. And so uh, my mom, that's why I actually started doing hair. Oh. Uh, my mom taught me how to use Marcel's. Of course, y'all use flat irons now, but. I'm still rocking Marcel's though a little bit. Yeah. A little yeah. bit. So um, she did. That's she crazy. Did her in the neighborhood. And so uh, after that, it was just torched passed to my oldest sister, Dorothy. Dang. And so, of course, she was experimenting on our hair. You know, <laughs> she didn't burn out. She was just slick it down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. That's crazy. And so then, after that, after the Marcells and the, the pressing combs, they just uh, started with the Jerry Curls. Yeah, I remember her doing Jerry Curls all the time. Yes. And so, that's what my oldest sister, she she would do the, the Jerry Dang. Curls for the neighborhood. That's crazy. Um, and they will put the activator on there and your whole collar be wet. <laughs> dripping. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Yeah, so by uh um so and in, in that realm where the the hairstylist of the family yep. had to babysit. Yep. So we would sit on on their knee. <laughs> Why they would do hair or either they would pull a chair beside us. Yeah. And so that's how it happened with you. That's funny. So when um, when um I would do my own hair, I would take you and sit you on the wash machine. <laughs> the bathrooms were so big with a washer and dryer were both yeah. inside the bathroom. Yeah. So I would sit you on the on the dryer or the wash machine uh -huh. while I was in the bathroom trying to do my hair. But I got it honestly then. Yes, and you would sit there just faithfully, just watch. Dang. And you know, you just sit there and you just, I guess she was just watching. Well, auntie said the same thing. She said that when she was doing the Jerry Curls, that she would put me on her lap. And everybody was like, girl, you he is too small to be. How you going to roll my hair and have him on your knee at the same time? Like, watch me. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so here you go um, in school. Hated school. Hated it. Did I tell y'all? I didn't. I just need to cut it right. Mm -mm. He hated school. No. And, um. But even in the midst of that, he something caught his attention and said, "Well, look, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to up my game." Yeah, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna have to up my game. Yeah. But then when you decided to do hair, and you start uh, bringing in the mannequins, <laughs> bringing in the mannequins and all that, so we always had enough room, extra room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there was an extra room that we were always set aside for you to get in. Yes. And and do hair. So we turned the room out. We had. They well, we didn't have no shampoo bottles, but they had to stand over the the sink. Yeah, yep. We had store ball relaxers. They burn as soon as you put them on. All of that. <laughs> soon as you get it on there, they burning. Like it was, it was crazy. We did that, yeah. and then by that time we got, I think I got kicked out of the house and moved to the shed. <laughs> then I moved the shop stuff to the shed. Yeah. Then they was just fighting in there. They was, by that time it was just got ghetto. Yeah, I, 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 I'm literally he had to go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where all this hair was coming from. But I mean, I was cooking macaroni and cheese, cabbage, 
And I mean her from just out of <laughs> I can literally tell people up front. Look, y'all, let me tell you now. My yeah, my son does hair in the house. And so this stuff floats around <laughs> in invisible dust. So it ain't like we try to get yes. into your food. Yes. It's just hair. Yep. You know, hair was in the closet. Yep. I mean, how I got there, I don't know. <laughs> if you have not subscribed to this channel, I want you all to hit the subscribe button so that you all will be notified every time a dope video drops. Just like this one. Share this video with somebody. Be inspired. Be empowered. And don't forget to thrive with G. Tell them thrive with G, ma. Thrive, thrive with G. Thrive with G. Yeah, <laughs> <to> G. <laughs> Peace out. Peace.